Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video might be seen and shared. <coughs> Pardon me. Celine Driver once again bringing you another unboxing and review of a watch that is mine. And this one is very, very special watch to me. I've been uh, admiring this particular watch for quite a while. Uh, I was able to do a trade for this watch uh, with my guy Robert over at European Watch Company. Uh, they, I told Robert a while ago that this watch was one I wanted and he promised me that uh, he would keep an eye out for it and when one came in he would tell me and I was ready when he told me about it. I sent my trade watch up and the next day uh, this watch showed up. This watch uh, is a Breitling, as you can see. Fortunately, the uh, box is a little tall. But this one is very, very special watch. Now, this is a previously owned watch. But it, <laughs> I got to say, it looked like the person who owned the watch never, uh, never wore the bloody thing. Um... Inside the, the box, underneath there, is just uh, some uh, paperwork, you know, just the generic paperwork for the watch. Underneath the little platform comes uh, in this little travel case type thing, like a lot of Breitlings do. Nice leather um, travel type of thing. And inside there, on this gorgeous alligator strap is a Breitling Premier. Beautiful watch. Let me get it off its pillow here. Close that for the time being. And we have the Breitling Premier. This is the uh, B09. Uh, model number is AB093. Um, there are some other numbers, but that's basically the, the numbers that really need to be, be disseminated. A beautiful um, vintage style chronograph, and I want to get the chronograph running here so we can watch that. And the thing that obviously makes this watch stand out is the beautiful pistachio green dial. In fact, this watch is called the pistachio. Uh, everything about this watch screams vintage Breitling. The syringe style handset, the twin register uh, chronograph, although you know this is the uh, at, you know this is just the minute register at the three o'clock here at the nine o'clock is the constant second. The Breitling B logo. It's beautifully done, sign crown rectangular candy bar style pushers. You have this beautiful box style crystal, the Art Deco uh, design of the, uh, the case flanks, and a beautiful manual wind B09 um, chronograph movement with the column wheel. Where is the column wheel? It's there somewhere. Oops, there it is right there. Column wheel with vertical clutch so that as you can see, watch the second hand here as you disengage and re-engage it. There's no jump, no stagger. It's just a smooth um, engagement, disengagement. And the chronograph feel is nice and crisp and a nice crisp snap to it that you can feel through your finger, you can hear it. Uh, one of the best feeling uh, chronograph operations on the market. You have this beautiful brown, light brown alligator strap with big um, symmetrical uh, alligator uh, pattern. 
underneath is uh, is is the calfskin, and it's designed in such a way that you don't see uh, the calfskin yellow when you have this on. I'll give you a shot in a minute. Absolutely a beautiful watch. Now this is um, made to be a luxury chronograph. It's paying homage to three generations of Breitling uh, chairmen and inventors. Uh, let's see, uh, Le Leon Breitling, Gaston Breitling, and Willie Breitling. Now, Leon Breitling founded Breitling back in the 1884, which is why the box says 1884. Um, he founded uh, Breitling. Gaston, which was his, um, I think his son, ran Breitling from 1914 to 1927. And he invented the, the watch-based chronograph, which Breitling is so famous for. I mean, you know, how many chronographs can you name that are Breitlings? The Navitimer, the Chronomat, the Premier, uh, the Transocean, uh, multitude of uh, chronographs and then there was of course Willie Breitling uh, he invented the two pusher chronograph system where you had the start stop and then the reset prior to that chronographs you had one button doing everything and he of course was the son of uh, Gaston Breitling and he invented the two pusher chronograph in 1934 he ran Breitling from 1932 to 1979 when the Schneider family took over sometime after that. So this watch is a tribute to the three Breitling family members and the contributions they had to the, to the, uh, to the company. Now this is a beautifully wearing watch. Let me get this thing on so you can see it. That under the pusher, a nice deploy uh, style uh, pin buckle. And on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, this watch fits beautifully. It is a, you know, it's it's right at the bottom end of my, of the uh, of where I like my watches to be in the you know like from say about 39, 40 millimeters, my bottom end all the way up to about 44, 45 is I what I what I refer to as my sweet spot. But on my on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, this watch fits beautifully. <clears throat> Twin pusher uh, deploy on uh, release on the uh, deploy clasp. <coughs> beautifully done. Now that exhibition case back is just the B zero nine movement was not originally designed to be a display case back friendly movement but still it looks beautiful and as you can see the chronograph has been running for about 10 minutes now and you can see it stops very nicely and it resets with a flyback to uh, neutral position you can see on the minute register there are bigger slot indices at the three and six and nine indicators I am told by other watch aficionados that that is a nod back to the old days of long distance uh, phone calls where they charged you um, uh, for the first three minutes, the next three minutes, and then the next three minutes, and then one minute after that. So you could actually use this to time a long distance phone call. They don't do that, of course, anymore. <laughs> but uh, back in the good old days, which I do remember, uh, that was something that was done. Uh, let's see, what else do I need to tell you? It is a 40 millimeter diameter case. It is a 20 millimeter lug. 47 millimeter on the tip to tip. And 13 millimeters thick. And believe it or not, even with a non-screw down crown and non-screw down pushers, the watch is rated to 100 meters of water resistance. Now, I wouldn't push it that far. Um, this is not meant to be a sport chronograph. This is meant to be a luxury chronograph. This is meant to be a dress chronograph. That's why it's relatively thin and can fit under a long sleeve, especially with that nice 
bevel on the uh, on the um, bezel and on the crystal. Not meant to be a sport chronograph, so don't push the water resistance on there. Washing your hands is okay. Getting it splashed is okay. Um, I really wouldn't um, take it swimming. But then again, you have other Breitlings uh, for that. And if you don't have a Breitling, you always go get my. Uh, I can always go grab one of my Zelos. <laughs> yep, I worked the word Zelos into a Breitling um, video because that's what I do. Signed buckle. It is a pin buckle of a sort, as you can see, but it is a deploy class, not a pin and buckle. Although, if you wanted to fit it with a conventional pin and buckle, uh, as, you know, aftermarket or whatever, um, all you have to do is unscrew that bar right there, pull it out, and stick in a standard uh, pin buckle. And conveniently, they give you the measurements, which is 20 millimeter up here, but it does taper down to 18 millimeter at the low point. And you can see the model number of the, whoops, turn it over. You can see the model number of the strap is 1054P. Now, me, myself, I'm going to leave this thing on the... Um, on the deploy class, but I think it looks fine. It, it performs well, and that that pin is in there. It ain't it ain't moving out of there very easily. So I feel pretty secure that this watch ain't going anywhere once I've uh, locked it down. Beautiful watch. Now, I, admittedly, green is not my normal color, <coughs> and pistachio green especially is not my normal color. Or if you wanted to call this, if you prefer. You could call it mint chip green because, you know, I mean, my preferred ice cream brand is Breyers and Breyers mint chip is white, like regular chocolate chip. But a lot of other companies make mint chocolate chip ice cream and they color the ice cream to this color, kind of a minty green, uh, pistachio, mint green, whatever you prefer. I love this color. I was obsessed with this. Uh, colorway for a long time and I, I'm so glad that uh, I got Robert on the case uh, looking for one for me and he found one got a hold of me right away and said I got one for you let's you know let's make a deal and we did beautiful watch and I am very very happy with it so on that note I'm going to uh, wrap the video up and I'm going to put it back on my wrist and wear the hell out of it for months. <laughs> I'm going to honeymoon with this watch like I've not honeymooned with a lot of watches. I, I, I love this watch. I really do. So thank you to Robert. Thank you to European Watch Company. Not sponsored. They don't know that I tell, I mentioned them in my videos. Um, but if you want to go after a, um, one of the watches in the higher end. Um, they've got them from Rolex, Omega, Tudor, Breitling, uh, Roger Dubois, Dubois, JLC, Rolex, Patek or Patek or Patek, uh, Philippe, Ulysses Nardin, um, all those kind. You know, I, I would head over to European watch. Take a look at what they got. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it to be entertaining, useful, enjoyable. If you did, thumbs up, please. Please click that thumbs up. It does help with the YouTube search algorithm. Helps bring people to the channel, and that is a good thing. Comments, questions, selection, uh, selection. Comments, questions, suggestions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. However, if you are going to try to troll me, or you are going to try and leave uh, bad uh, li links to bad places on the uh, internet. Uh, I'm simply going to delete the comment and block the commenter. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Glad you found my channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will take the opportunity to watch many videos that I have on my channel. 
all I ask in return is don't forget to click the like well of course click the like button but don't forget to click the subscribe button too and click the bell icon so the when I release new material you will be alerted to that and as I always say at the end of my videos it is a crazy old world out there it is not getting any less crazy so please be careful out there stay safe be well see you soon